So as you think about the, the, this concept of, of vision, how important is that? That, that seems to be some, that's, I'm something I'm, I'm hearing a lot in as you share your background. Oh, I think it's everything. You know, you there as we're talking teams, right? One of the things that that you and I have talked about is right. teams and and you just shared a boy tremendous experience as it relates to um, managing teams and and I want to just roll through some of some of what you just said. Um in the concept of teams, when we want to talk about, hey, what what does a successful team look like? What I was really impressed with here was this clear vision that you have. You I mean you very very clearly articulated. You know, you use things like use uh, phrases like "rip up the playbook," right? I need it to work. Um, uh, caring, right? That 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 we, if we if we're clear on what our values are, that that will make a difference. Uh, those are those are very very clear culture statements, right? They're not necessarily statements that we'd say are are common across industry, but they're very clear and and specific as it relates to culture. So as you think about the the this concept of of vision. How important is that? That that seems to be some, that's I'm something I'm I'm hearing a lot in as you share your background. Oh, I think it's everything. The problem I I see is that a lot of uh, the bigger agencies out there have what I call uh, twelve Kevin's on their payroll. Uh, I turn to my pe- people and say, Christ, they've got twelve Kevin's on their payroll. Uh, we've got one, and you folks don't know what the hell I do. Uh, and, and and so we I like to support the front lines. Okay. I like to get the people who are getting the work done day in and day out. And a word that I I, I can't take cre- personal credit for, but I was brought up around is empathy. Uh, we're in a situation where uh, folks are going through tougher times now than normal. Okay, with the COVID situation, stress, single moms, child raising, homeschooling, you know, uh, it's it's rougher and. Now we've got uh, cost of living issues and not, not to go political on it, but it's a reality. And look at our business. We're sending people out in their own vehicles to travel hither and yon, uh, filling their cars with gasoline. So it's a it's a real, a real live situation here. And so if we're streamlining at the top, we have the wherewithal to give people a, a, a livable wage in our entry level positions. And I turned to the board uh, early on and I said, although we're a nonprofit, I said, if they're going to do what I'm going to ask them to do, uh, you've got to put some money where this big mouth is. So we have a, an appreciation award uh, that is modest and we're not going to Paris or anything, but it, it's an appreciation award that is uh, given out to the uh, full time people twice a year. And, uh, you know, one person said to me, you know, what's great about this? My son's in the military. He's got a young family, and with my award, I'm able to rent a, a place on a small island on the coast and we can have a family gathering for a week, and I wouldn't be able to do that otherwise. And I go, there it is, right? Fantastic. Uh, I tell one small story, if I may, about my mother. Uh, when I was a small child, my mom was a, a you know a homemaker, uh, but she took me to the local grocery store. We walked into the grocery store. I was a small kid. And on aisle two, there was a young woman there with a a child in the basket, and she was sobbing in aisle two. My mother took her by the arm. Suddenly, we're leaving the store. Our home was nearby. She brought her to the home. She got on the phone. She started figuring out who she could connect this woman who was in a a tough spot with, get housing, get food, get settled, and whatever. And she was on her way within a couple of hours. We go back to the grocery store, and the work, women working the checkout and the cashiers turned to my mother and gave her a round of applause. Uh, there's something about spotting people in distress and them recognizing. We had somebody resign the other day, an entry-level level guy, and he was leaving, and I had a conversation with him, and he's staying. And in the next two days, he called two friends uh, to come and sign up with us, us as well. 
Uh, so if you're taking time for everybody and they know that, uh, I think it makes a world of difference in building a team. Absolutely. The good news is the good news is that I talk so much that I don't have to repeat myself because nobody ever dares come back and subjects themselves to listening to me go oh, on and on again. <laughs> There's a method to the madness. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> well, Kevin, it's beautiful. I mean, I what I I wrote three things down. I just want to summarize them because I think they're important uh, for for those that are watching. Um, as it relates to culture and vision, so you you talked very clearly about supporting the front lines, right? Supporting the people in doing their work. Uh, you also talked about celebration, right? The concept of an award, which sometimes awards get lost, but the fact that it makes a real difference, right? That it it makes a difference in someone's life. The story that you shared about how it allowed them to do something that they hadn't been able to do before, right? That's, that's a great celebration. We need to celebrate our people. And thirdly, you talked about helping people in, you know, your mom's great story, helping people that really need it. Right. And, and being very clear, I think those are three fantastic things that we can think about in terms of in terms of what great vision does.